Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 3rd of 2020, well, it is titled Apollo 13 Views of the Moon. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video clip that will run a couple minutes and will show what the Apollo 13 astronauts likely would have seen as they traveled around the moon. Now, this is not images taken by them. This is actually more recent photos from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Now, the Apollo 13 mission uh, was the one that had the problems with a, an explosion that occurred and damaged part of the spacecraft. So it was never able to land on the moon, and what it had to do was return to Earth. And the easiest way to return to Earth was to be able to actually go around the moon and, and use that gravity to redirect it back to the Earth. And that's what was done, and we were able to bring the astronauts back successfully. So here we can see a little bit of maybe what they saw, especially as they went around the backside of the moon and had to lose contact with the Earth for uh, several minutes. So as we play the video, uh, what you'll begin to see is, first of all, the Earth beginning to disappear be behind the limb of the moon. So the Earth will disappear, meaning that the astronauts have now lost contact and were in darkness for eight minutes until the sun rose. So as the sun begins to rise over the limb there, we'll start to see some of the features of the moon. And the moon is a very heavily cratered object, lots of impacts present on it. And that is because it has... Um, no atmosphere to de deflect any of these objects, to uh, burn any of the smaller ones up. And it also has no weathering effects to wear them down uh, very quickly. So you'll see some of the craters look nice, nice and sharp and fresh. And other ones that have been around for billions of years have been pounded by later impacts, which is the only kind of weathering with no wind or water on the moon as we have on the Earth to wear down things. And we'll see craters on top of craters, a very heavily cratered area. And we'll also see some flooded areas, so some areas with very few craters. And you can see a large crater uh, there with a central peak. And most of the interior has been flooded, and that is uh, from lava in the interior. And this occurred still billions of years ago. And we'll see several of those as you go around. You can see many of the craters have been really washed out as by multiple impacts over billions of years. And then as we come around the edge of the moon again, we will see the Earth uh, emerge over the horizon. The Earth will begin to rise. And of course, that allowed the communications to be reestablished. In order to have communications, you need a direct line of sight with the Earth. So there were no other communication satellites in orbit around the moon to bounce signals off of as we do here on the Earth. So this is how the trajectory that was used to be able to bring the Apollo 13 astronauts a home in their damaged craft and be able to return them successfully to the Earth. So they did get to go to the moon, but not actually land on the moon and were able uh, to see, again, a lot of the moon up close as they passed around it and then returned to the Earth. So that was our picture of the day for March the 3rd of 2020. It was titled Apollo 13 Views of the Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Galaxies Dance. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.